Good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm enjoying a cup of coffee and I'm coming at you <laughs> from a different location. As you guys can probably tell, I am in Lake Tahoe right now. So I'm staying at the Edgewood. It is in Nevada. It's on the Nevada side. And we just got here yesterday. I'm vlogging the whole experience. So that's going to go up uh, probably in a couple days, maybe at the end of this week. Um, but I did not get a chance to pre-film before I left. So I thought I would do a couple videos while I was here. I thought that would be fun. Um, so today's video is going to be me using the makeup that I packed. Now, I don't know about you guys, but generally I either underpack or overpack. I mean everything, not just makeup, but underpack or overpack. So I really meant not to bring too much makeup. I mean, I'm just here to relax. There isn't like nightlife or anything. So I didn't feel like I needed, you know, like a full beat situation. But I did want to show you what I brought. And again, it will be in the vlog, but just quickly, we're going to go ahead and apply that to my face. But I wanted to finish getting ready. Um, I've been actually testing out this new skincare. It's called Pi Skincare. And I've been using it as like my um, daytime skincare routine, maybe just for the past week now. And it is lovely. It's really, really nice. It's an organic skincare brand. But anyway, I will update you guys on how I am liking it after a couple more weeks. So I just used their face wash. I just sprayed some of the toner on my face, which is really cool. I've never used toner in, a, in like a spray bottle. Usually I have to put it on like a cotton you know pad and like spread it around but i really like it in the spray it was very convenient it was something i didn't even think about when i packed for here usually i have to pack some cotton pads and i didn't i don't know if i just kind of simply forgot and it worked out <laughs> since this is in a spray bottle so anyway that i already sprayed on my face and now i'm just going to go ahead and apply some of the moisturizer this is the love and hate h-a-i-g-h-d uh, moisturizer really great for my dry skin. It really feels, you know, moisturizing and really soothing, but it's great underneath makeup because it's not that heavy. It's more of like uh, a light cream or like a thicker lotion, if you will. And so far I've been using the oil under the lotion, but I did want to try it over. I kind of like playing with that order. There are some like combinations where I really like the oil first. There are some other combinations where I like the oil on top. So I'm playing around with the order of this. So this is the Rosehip Bio Regenerate Oil. So I'm just gonna put some right on top. I don't need a lot of this oil. It is fairly thick. So maybe like two drops. All right, while I wait for all of this to kind of soak in, I'm just going to blow dry my hair. I didn't bring anything for my hair except for this Orbe Bomb Dor, which is what I always throw into my hair before I blow dry it. I'm gonna use the hotel blow dryer and that is it. I didn't even bring a brush or anything because that's just what kind of weekend this is gonna be. <laughs> Anastasia Clear Brow Gel <laughs> for the baby hairs. These got, do you see this? Crazy, they just won't behave no matter what I do. So this will keep them tame for maybe half the day. <laughs> and then by the end of the day, they'll be like right back out. Okay, now onto the makeup. I brought the Chantecaille Ultra Sun Primer, which has SPF 45. And then I brought my La Mer Reparative Skin Tint, uh, which has an SPF 30. And I did also bring my Revive SPF, it's just straight up SPF. It is SPF 50. So uh, I have an option for like base, base combo. Um, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the Chantecaille Ultra Sun Primer because it does a really good job kind of uh, like blurring my skin. And while there's no coverage at all, I do feel like kind of evens out my skin a little bit. So I'm gonna start there. You do have to shake this up very well. 
already I am seeing something that I didn't pack that I should have, which is concealer, because I think with this and just a little bit of concealer, that could be my base. But I think what I'm gonna do is use this just to kind of like spot cover like around my eyes and around my nose or something. And this is my first time using this primer over that Pi skincare. And yeah, it's meshing well. You know, it's not like balling up or anything. So that's good. Ah, before we move any further, I need to put something on my lips. So I did bring the Suasu like lip serum in a stick, something like that. I'm just gonna apply this. I feel like I've had this thing forever. Oh, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I think I need, <laughs> I need a lot of under eye help. I think tonight I brought my favorite, favorite mask, which is the Sisley um, Velvet Sleeping Mask. And I love this when I travel, but I usually use this like after I've been on a plane and your skin just feels so dehydrated. And since we drove here, I didn't really have that feeling when I got out of the car. I wasn't like, oh my God, I need to put my mask on. But I think my skin, just in general, <laughs> my skin needs a little bit of help. So maybe I'll do this tonight. All right, let's see if I can just put on the La Mer Reparative Skin Tint just in like strategic little areas, just so I don't have like a full face of makeup on. Yeah, just around my eyes. The lighting in here is pretty dim, so I don't know if you guys can see, but it looks it looks a little brighter and a little more even. But this uh, La Mer skin tint doesn't really have that much coverage. I just wanted a little a little evening out. Just a little bit on the redness here. My nose and my cheeks. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. I basically didn't put anything here. I didn't put anything on my forehead. Okay. I didn't bring any bronzer, any contour. I didn't bring any powder because I just have cream products. I mean, we're talking very minimal, minimal makeup packing here. So I brought my Tom Ford Glow Stick, which has a highlighter and a blush. And I brought it in the shade 03 Megev. And the blush side is um, a little bit more neutral. A lot of the glow sticks have like a bright peach kind of like coral shade to them. And I wanted something, again, like a little bit more toned down. So I'm just going to apply some directly to my skin and then blend out. And then the highlighter side, I'm just gonna use my finger and tap just a little bit on eyebrows, Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. <laughs> what color did I bring? I brought granite. And again, my favorite, easiest brow product ever. As for eyes, I brought the Westman Atelier Eye Pods in Le Jour. Or is this Le Nuit? Oh, this is Le Jour. This is the daytime one. And I'm just gonna use the shade to ba. This is the one that I went really hard with over the summertime. I feel like the end of the summer I was using this a lot. But I didn't bring any brushes on purpose, so I'm just gonna apply this with my finger. You can be some of that peachy glow. I'm also gonna take some of the Neige color, which is like a white crystally color, and just tap that on the inner corners here. That is it for eyes. I don't even know if you guys can see it in this lighting. But yeah, I have like the peachiness and then the Neige there, very subtle. Eyelash curler. It's so funny, if you guys have been with me for any amount of time, I used to not bothered with mascara most of the time. Didn't like it, didn't feel like it really did anything, but lately I've been trying so many mascaras and I do feel like there's been some really, really good mascaras, ones that I do feel like have made a difference. So I didn't bring any eyeliner, but I did bring my Surat Noir Lash Tint. I mean, it's such a slim case, it's perfect for travel. And I did bring four lip products. I brought an Ilia uh, Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil. I brought a Chanel Gloss. 
I brought a Chantecaille gloss and a Sisley gloss. And we do have to wear masks around. So I'm gonna go with the one that has like the least pigment because when I take my mask off, if it's worn off, it won't be that big of a deal and I can reapply it really easily. So this is the Chanel 726. All right, that is it. So I think I did okay <laughs> packing my makeup. I should have brought a concealer for when I just want to kind of like spot cover and not put foundation on all over. That was definitely an oversight on my part because I do that actually quite often <laughs> when I don't want to put on a full face. So I don't know what I was thinking. So anyway, I should have brought concealer and I do think I should have packed like a pressed powder. I just figured, oh, I'm bringing all this cream product. I won't need powder. I was just thinking about the idea of setting, but I do think my skin looks a little shiny. I mean, I have super dry skin, so it's probably gonna calm down in a bit. My skin's just gonna soak everything up. So I think, I think I'll think i be okay, but it probably would have benefited me to bring some powder. So anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and get dressed and then probably order some room service. Uh, lunch, we're definitely gonna go out, but I think for breakfast, my husband's still sleeping, so I think for breakfast, we're gonna order in some room service. That to me is like the ultimate luxury. Ugh. Like breakfast in your room, it's just, there's just nothing better. All right, here is my outfit of the day. <laughs> Super long black hoodie, black leggings. The hoodie is from H&M, the leggings are from Lululemon. Well, that is it for my get ready with me. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, leave any comments down below in the comments section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.